Underground, in the barrios and housing projects of Puerto Rico, a new music was taking shape. Was born in the ghetto, was born in the hood. It was called reggaeton, and it had its roots in the rhythms of Jamaican reggae, and one rhythm in particular, the dembo. Dembo, 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 dembo. The dembo is a very deeply Caribbean rhythm. It's this kind of boom, ja, boom, ja, boom, ja, boom, ja, boom, ja, boom. Ja, The dembo was first fused with Spanish rap in Panama, where it was called Spanish reggae, and soon spread across the Caribbean. By that time, it was just Spanish hip hop, Spanish rap um, in, the, in the barrios like that. Then all of a sudden, we heard the people from Panama doing reggae in Spanish. So we started to incorporate our flavor into that sound. And we created it our own genre, reggaeton. Hey, yo. You know, then... Ramon Ayala, AKA Daddy Yankee, rapped about the violence and drug culture of Puerto Rico's poorest neighborhoods to the rhythm of the Dembo beat. Explicit lyrics and sexually provocative reggaeton dance, the perreo, drew criticism from an influential Puerto Rican senator, Velda Gonzalez. Fue que yo empecé a preguntarle a las secretarias mías jóvenes, ¿qué perreo? Y se miraban uno a la otra y decía, Oh my lord, you tell her. Senator Gonzalez launched a campaign against the violence and sexual content of reggaeton. The same scenario that hip hop had during the 80s. People thought that we were promoting the violence. It was, it was not like that. We were just being real. We were just being uh, the El Espejo del Pueblo. We were rapping about the real stuff. Reggaeton remained mostly confined to the island of Puerto Rico until rapper Tego Calderon arrived on the scene. <laughs> Yo era bien anti reggaetón, ya que lo mío era hip hop y hablaba mucho de, de conciencia en aquellos tiempos con temas pesados. Y un pana me trajo aquí a una discoteca que se llamaba Hollywood, frente a Doña Fela. Y me cogieron una pared de una muchacha allí, yo me quedé bruto. Yo dije que esto, Dios mío, no, esto hay que cantarlo porque esto es una barbaridad. Tego Calderón created new fusions for reggaeton adding traditional Caribbean rhythms to the Jamaican dembo beat. La música que a mí me llena y que me disfruto y que y que me corre por las venas y son los ritmos afrontillanos. Todo todo lo que es es este que tiene este tambor, esta clave, pues es lo que a mí me llena y, y es lo que yo soy. start to hear bomba and plena, two, two Afro-Puerto Rican folk forms cropping up in his music. You hear some salsa, you hear some bachata. You know, I think that, that caught a lot of listeners' ears. In Dego's voice, reggaeton broke through, from the clubs in Puerto Rico to the stages of Manhattan, spreading to Miami, Chicago, L.A. Se vive la, la lírica, lo, 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 que, lo que uno habla, lo sienten y, y lo entienden a perfección. Ese público salvadoreño, mexicano, hondureño. The thing about reggaeton is that it was able to express, on the one hand, Latinidad, the Latinness, and on the other hand, modernity. You could be bling blinged out. You could look like all of your peers in this more general sort of hip hop world. You didn't have to feel like you were somehow selling out your own cultural roots. Tego became a hero to young Latinos 
but it was Daddy Yankee who took reggaeton into the clubs and onto the dance floors of America's mainstream with his hit song, Gasolina. It's simple, simple hook, and it's about energy. Gasolina was huge. For many months, uh, you couldn't go anywhere without hearing it. People has told me that I don't know what you're saying, Yankee, but it's great. My, you know, my girlfriend and my mother, they can't stop dancing. Now I am in the middle of the reggaeton. <laughs> <laughs> and you know something? During the last uh, campaign, the people asked me to dance reggaeton because I told them, you can dance reggaeton nicely. Not even Velda Gonzalez, reggaeton's sharpest critic, could resist the rising tide of Latin music's new rhythm. All the generation has one music that identified that generation. And right now, our generation has been identified with Reggaeton. Tiene que ver con el orgullo que tienen los latinos, esto es de nosotros y, y está bueno y, y se puede bailar en los clubes y compite con, 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 con eso que ustedes bailan en inglés, que es parte de nosotros, pero esto es de nosotros. As Latin music moved into the new century, new fusions emerged, as diverse as the culture of today's urban Latinos. I used uh, Wilfredo Vargas, uh, El Africano, which we all grew up on, which is, Mami, el negro está rabioso, el quiere tu azúcar. I put that on a house beat, techno beat, one of the biggest records in the country. The world is shrinking. So people are far more open to all kinds of sounds, and you see the fusion everywhere. You see a lot of traditional Caribbean beats married to urban and hip-hop beats. You see traditional sounds like Mexican trumpets married to pop or married to a kind of more progressive alternative music. Nobody will raise an eyebrow at any mix of rhythms. Born and raised in Miami, Pitbull represents what he calls 305, Miami's area code, a cultural mix from every corner of Latin America and the Caribbean. Statistically, we're growing in such numbers, and it's not like we're like just Latinos, first generation, second generation, third generation. A lot of them don't even speak Spanish no more, but they're proud to be or where the, you know, their parents are from, the country that they represent. These third, fourth generation Latins are really embracing the fact that they're Latin, are very eager to learn more about their culture, and I also think the mainstream, more than ever, is open to things Latin. It's not seen as something as foreign as it used to be. <laughs> 